Matt Tim. In Chapter 1 of Career Mapping, Matt explained his NASCAR ladder system. In Chapter 2, he revealed little-known demands of stock car racing. Chapter 3 highlighted Matt's matrix of challenges. And now, in Chapter 4, Matt gives the answer to the golden question, how do you tie it all together to build a racing career? Matt Tip. So we have the keys to success here, and that's for building my future into racing. Now, it would be a work-life balance in the future, whereas now it's a school-life balance, uh, balancing all my school work in high school and the racing world. And technical competency, and that's, uh, again, learning the new cars and learning how to uh, relate with the crews and giving them information as I get better at as I get more experience. In relationship management, and this is dealing with sponsors and showing and just really learning how to deal with them in the best possible situation to help support myself. And then funding, which again we're going to see as a constant issue that comes up throughout the road to NASCAR. Now, this is the keys to funding success. And what really is one of the largest key parts to this is on-track results. And that's where my part comes in, where I have to do the best possible job I can to get the best finishes for the team. And it's, uh, it's definitely important to the sponsors that they know that their money is not going to a bunch of wrecked cars every weekend and that, the, that I can be competitive myself. And a unique and compelling off-track value proposition. And that would be doing hospitality events with different sponsors, interacting with fans, um, and many things like this to build relationships with uh, other people than just in the racing world. And embracing various levels and forms of sponsorship. Now, if you've seen highlights of a race, you've probably seen them uh, say, well, I'd, think that, uh, I'd like to thank my crew for my Caterpillar, Dodge, NAS Energy, whatever it is. That's because there's different levels of sponsors, and each one has a different amount that it may change per race or it may change per season. And then finally, thinking ahead. And that's doing whatever we can to give myself the best shot in the future without doing too much now and too, or too little now to get myself to that point. And now for my vision. Now I'm in a spot where I've been able to win races at the regional and am being, becoming very competitive in the national levels. Well, here we can see a NASCAR team celebrating. And this is where I want to be eventually. That's celebrating at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, one of the most pristine tracks you can win at in all the history of racing. And this is really the goal of what I want to try to get to, is to be able to win races in NASCAR and win championships. So as you can see here, it's a very complex road to get to NASCAR. But in my mind, it is worth it. And I think that as long as I balance relationships as well as I can, and deal with the pressure that comes with being on TV every weekend. I think that I can create a lot of success for myself and doing events like these will help me along the way. And like, I'd like to thank you for all being here today for my presentation. And there you have it, Career Mapping with Matt Tiff. Looking back over the series, how do you make Matt's information useful to you for your goals? That answer is as personal as Matt's was throughout this entire series. But did you notice it? Did you see the answer? Here it is. Matt found a way to personalize these seven essentials for goal attainment. A clearly identified, focused, and documented target objective. A personal justification of why that goal is important. Identification of obstacles between now and the goal. Management of relationships essential for success. Development of core competencies and essential complementing skills. A realistic, manageable, and tactically advantageous career strategy. And finally, a deadline with mileposts along the way. Anyone who ever hoisted a trophy in Victory Circle or sprayed champagne has done this. Now, how will you personalize these seven essentials? If you want to discuss or if you want to join Matt's team, get in touch. If you've been inspired, tell a friend. Thanks for following, liking, 
watching and for going fast with Matt Tiff.